Hello and welcome to yet another edition of Yes 101's Visual Radio for the News First Team. I'm Dithmini De Silva. News First Headline Police submit 1,600 million rupee election security budget. 20 MPs yet to submit asset declarations. In news overseas, FBI probes claims Iran hacked Trump campaign. And in tennis, Sina plays down hippie shoe ahead of Cincinnati. The news in detail. Sri Lanka police submitted an estimated expenditure of nearly 1,600 million rupees to the election commission for the upcoming presidential election. In light of recent intelligence reports on potential threats to presidential candidates, authorities have announced the implementation of a special security program starting tomorrow. Yesterday, the Minister of Public Security announced that intelligence reports will be sought to assess threats to presidential candidates, ensuring the implementation of necessary security measures following the acceptance of nominations. Based on these intelligence reports, the minister will determine the level of security required for each candidate. In more local news, the Commission to Investigate Allegations of Bribery or Corruption has reported to the Speaker of Parliament that a significant number of members of Parliament, totaling 20, have failed to submit their mandatory annual asset liability statements. Despite the Parliament's efforts to ensure compliance through repeated reminders, three to be precise, the specified members have yet to fulfil their obligations. The Parliament has expressed its intention to take necessary steps to expedite the submission process. The deadline for the submission of these crucial documents was set for the 30th of June. In other local news, the 10th edition of India-Sri Lanka joint military exercise Mitra Shakti commenced at Army Training School Madhuroya, Sri Lanka. The exercise is scheduled to be conducted from the 12th to the 25th of August. Indian contingent comprising of 106 personnel is being represented by a battalion of Rajputana rifles along with personnel from other arms and services. The Sri Lankan contingent is being represented by personnel from Gajraba Regiment of the Sri Lankan Army. Joint exercise Mitra Shakti is an annual training event conducted alternatively in India and Sri Lanka. The last edition was conducted in Pune in the in November 2023. International news. The FBI has opened an investigation into allegations from the Trump campaign that it was targeted by hackers working for the Indian government. A Trump campaign spokesman told foreign media that the documents were illegally obtained by foreign sources hostile to the United States. Iranian officials have denied any connection to the hack and the US government has not formally accused Iran. The FBI is also looking into whether Iranian hackers targeted the Joe Biden Kamala Harris campaign, citing people familiar with the investigation. The Trump campaign statement came one day after Microsoft released a report indicating that Iranian hackers targeted the campaign of an unnamed US presidential candidate in June. Sports news. World number 1 Yannick Sinner says he is not worried about a hip issue that had been troubling him over the last couple of months and that he is looking forward to getting back on court at the US Open tune-up tournament in Cincinnati this week. The 22-year-old has struggled to shake off the injury he picked up in May in Madrid and looked to have aggravated it during a shock quarter-final defeat in Montreal on Saturday. The Australian Open champion said conditions at the Cincinnati Open this week could prove to be a bigger test as he gears up for the US Open which runs from the 26th of August to the 8th of September. And with that we wrap up this edition of Yes 101's Visual Radio for the news first team I'm Dithmini De Silva.